hello and uh, welcome to the domain name system class we will talk about the basics of uh, domain name system so first to start up so let's go ahead and uh, understand what's the concept of uh, domain name system so I'll just put in domain name system So what is domain name system? The domain name system is a it's it's a distributed database system that can serve as the found foundation for name resolution in a TCP IP network. So you should always make sure that uh, you understand this concept. So let's put in this. So the domain name system is a distributed database system that can serve as the foundation or that can serve as the yeah foundation for name resolution in a TCP IP network so the domain name system is nothing but uh, it holds a database information what does the database contain it contains the IP addresses and the names to which it has to convert so name to IP IP to name so this we have checked in our previous videos how do how does it convert from name to IP IP to name okay so that is about the DNS so how does it how exactly the DNS work that is what is important for us so I'll just put in as DNS so where is it used it is used in uh, <coughs> most of internet working software so what type of internet working software do you think it can be used in so the example for this is it can be used in web browsers and uh, email programs so web browsers is like your uh, let's take an example of that it's your internet Explorer or it's Netscape or your Firefox and etc. The next is it can also be used on your uh, email programs. So what are email programs? Email programs are uh, like your uh, Outlook, Client and your uh, Lotus Notes email client these are some of the examples for email programs where it can use it okay so what is it used for it is used to resolve and map the user friendly names to IP and IP to name it is used 
to resolve the user friendly name to IP and IP to name. So this is one of the points which we have to refer for. What's the next one? So most DNS is associated with the uh, internet. So whenever we uh, start working, so most of them we use in internet. So it is not only in internet, it can also be used on a private network. So what do you mean by private network? It can also be used in your office to resolve or to host a site and it can be also used in your office. It's not only used in internet, it can also be used in your local office or it can, it can also be used in a store or wherever you like using the DNS. So that's about uh, the DNS usage. So coming to the, so we'll just put that point as well. used in uh, internet commonly and also private network like offices and etc okay that's good and uh, what are the benefits of DNS so let us study that so DNS benefits so the first major benefit of DNS is convenience so what do you mean by inconvenience how, how do you um, so names are easier to remember so that's the one of the benefit so that's why we provide name instead of providing the numbers so one more benefit is consistency so even the IP address may change but the service name remain constant so have you ever experienced uh, google.com which has changed no never so the google.com name remains the same but the IP address the number IP address for Google number Google changes but we will not experience that third one is simplicity it's very simple to remember one name so we'll say one naming convention so these are some of the benefits of the Novin naming system and now let us come to the next topic that is uh, so we need to understand some key components of domain naming system so we'll just make a note of the key components what we need to understand So 
the first component is domain namespace the second component is zones the third component is name servers the fourth component is domain okay name resolution process so how does all these components happen so we need to study these things so at this point we'll end the session and we'll continue in the next session